you guys, Shows You Films have a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shop video today. Thank you to go out to see things out, see things are on sale. Now today though, new release wise, when it comes to the new things coming out, there's not a lot of actually things today uh, when it comes to big releases. So today pretty much gonna go and look for kind of what's on sale, any other things, some stuff that you know wasn't out like like last week, because there's a couple things I know were not out last Tuesday, so kind of see if any of that stuff's out uh, this week as well, and see maybe there will be some you know some surprises and stuff this week as well. But like I said, as far as I, I, I was when I was looking on everything on like all the sites that I look at for new releases and everything. I wasn't seeing a ton of things today, you know, for this particular um, Tuesday, but we shall see. Uh, but also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews from things that I received to review and, and talk about for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for those as well. And as always, too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are reviewed. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. Well, we'll take a look here in the front, and I always show this one in this location, but it, it never really changes that much. You know what I mean? It's always one of those things, because I've seen other Target locations where they really do change this out and have a lot more like newer things. But this, you know, this Morbius, this has been here a long time, these same three copies. It's almost like a um, like a trick of like, you know, to come back here every time and see like how long until these three Target exclusives of Morbius are gone. But as you guys have noticed, I, I feel like I've shown this many times for the past many weeks, and it's, they've still been here. So yeah, other than that though, you know, show, showing that, I don't really see anything else different changed here. Because like I've been talking about, this Harry Potter laid claim to that spot. And it has not moved from that spot at all. But other than that though, nothing else here. We're going to go over to the actual section though. I'm not really expecting there to be anything really over there. But we shall see though. Maybe there will, like I said, maybe there will be a surprise. Or they'll have some of last Tuesday's stuff out. Because last Tuesday they didn't have out any of the new releases. So we shall see though. And yeah, well, just like that, absolutely nothing in there today. Uh, like they didn't change anything out. It was like, and even the stuff from last Tuesday was still not changed out in there. So it's, that location definitely does not, I don't know. It's like, it's been really bad lately with switching things out for the last couple weeks now. It, what's funny though is this location kind of switches around where they do, they're okay for a while and they're getting things on the shelf and then it switches over and, and it's like, it changes and it's like nothing. So it's been nothing for a very, very long time. We are going to head though to the Walmart over there and hopefully that location has some stuff out today, but we're going to go to the other location, you know, today, uh, you know, as well. But you know, we shall see, we'll see what what's out today but I didn't really expect much to be in there for in Target today I also wanted to say guys thanks again for all the continued support on me and Lauren Francesca's a uh, new horror comedy slasher that we're going to be directing together called Pay to Die on the campaign on Indiegogo we're just about to hit 40,000 uh, at least as of right now with the video so I'm so excited we are so excited to bring this film to life for you guys and it's going to be a very 80s style movie it's all about making a, a, a slasher film about a, a filmmaker who's kind of doing everything he can to make this horror film and everything you can imagine goes wrong making Making this movie that they're doing including someone on the set people you know getting killed off by somebody and that's basically what's going on with a lot of comedy mixed in so really excited but on the campaign though like I've been talking about there's a lot of ways that you guys can help on the film like get a, spe a special thanks credit where you'll be a have a credit on IMDB as well as the film's end credits you can also get a, a producer credit on the film they have a number of different levels uh, on there that you guys can get like associate producer up to producer credit uh, there's also uh, roles to come and act in the film it's gonna be shooting in the Los Angeles area September 27th through October 5th so if any of you guys are able to come Come out too we do have some roles to act in the film in person and there are some roles that you guys can shoot from home uh, as well three different ones too that to be an be an auditioner be a video blogger or a newscaster those are all ones where you guys will be sent the lines and you can send in the footage and stuff like that too so a lot of people have asked me about those and how those ones work and everything but anyway though guys like i said i really appreciate all the support and all the continued support on the new project and thanks again guys and now we're going to head over to the walmart and fingers crossed hopefully something will be out in there but we shall see into walmart we go well i have not peeked yet so we're gonna head back and see what they have today is there anything different out here i'm not seeing much on the shelf and like i said there's not really i'm not really expecting a whole lot today i thought this was so cool that they were advertising a whole thing for shutter here and these the three new releases from them i don't know i think it just is a making horror movies now and everything too it's just the fact that they're embracing indie horror and stuff i think is really really cool so i, I really like seeing that in here but you know uh new release wise though i'm definitely not seeing anything new here and in the front though all this stuff was um the past couple weeks and, and most of this stuff was out last tuesday i think it's just kind of have sold but other than that i'm just trying to see if there's anything else 
like random down here. But as far as I can tell, I don't see anything new here. Uh, oh yeah, mid-century, that was one of the other ones that was today. I don't see it on, the, no, no, mid-century was actually, I think last Tuesday. So no, that wasn't today. Over here though, I'll try and peek if they can see anything down here. Uh, as far as I can tell, I'm not seeing anything new. They're, they're playing the one thing right on the TV. So I don't want to be, yeah, I don't see anything new right there in that spot though. We will head to the other Walmart though, and we'll see if there's anything else at that one though. But maybe there won't be today. I don't, I don't know, maybe it'll be one of the days when there's like next to nothing out whatsoever new on the shelves. But we shall see though, we'll definitely see into the second walmart we go so we're heading into the movies from like a different way from this pers you know perspective i normally come from the other way around but we'll see you know what's over here i haven't peeked on this side yet so let's see if there's anything else like i said i'm not really expecting a whole lot today i really don't i think today's gonna be one of those days where there's really not a whole lot of things on the shelf and from what i can tell um i'm pretty sure the green lantern was last tuesday so i'm not seeing anything new like i said i really wasn't expecting anything this is like one of those like kind of rare Tuesdays when there's like really not a lot of stuff. They should have though the um, the Bruce Willis one out today. That one should be somewhere. So let's see if it's anywhere. Because like I, I said, I believe the Mid Century was last Tuesday. The Bruce Willis one would probably be like around this spot. So let's see where it would be. Probably over there. But I'm not really seeing much today. Like really, like I said, since there wasn't really much coming out, I almost feel like they just didn't really switch anything. Because looking through here. And no, I don't see anything new here. Nothing. I'm trying, like I said, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss over anything because every, so, every so often stuff is kind of put in a weird spot and you can overlook it. But yeah, all these ones were last Tuesday. I talked about these ones last Tuesday. But yeah, looking in here, uh, sis, that was already out. So yeah, nothing new in here. So yeah, this is like a Tuesday with like next to nothing. Let me know though if you went to Walmart, guys, if you saw anything new out today. But I really am, like I said, wasn't really expecting much today. And I feel like there would probably would have maybe was like one thing that Bruce Willis one that they didn't put out and probably would have been like, like right here is where they would have probably put it. But like I said, let me know in the comments below though, guys, if you went to Walmart and you saw new stuff out, like what you guys saw and everything, just so I know, because I'm curious, because I'm I, I do feel like there was probably had to be something. It couldn't be like nothing whatsoever. But as far as I can tell at this location, though, there's definitely nothing today though. Into Best Buy we go. But we're gonna head back and see what they have today. We'll see. Hopefully they have something out new in here today. Cause like I said, everywhere we've been going today, we've not had, you know, been seeing much of anything today. So let's see, they still have, you know, some of the um, the exclusive steelbooks for this one available for the Nicolas Cage one, the extremely, the unbearable weight of massive talent. So that's from a couple weeks ago. So they still have those. I'm trying to see the Bob's Burger one. They didn't get any more of those ones in. Those were sold out uh, last Tuesday. Let's see over here. So this, they actually still have some of the Doctor Strange ones available, which is like very rare. You don't usually see the Disney ones available too often when it comes to the Steelbook ones. But yeah, over here though, let's see if there's anything. This is definitely in the wrong spot here. And there's like no slip on it. Let's see, but it's weird. I didn't see the, um, maybe I was wrong about the Bruce Willis one. Maybe that one was out a different week and I was mixing them up, but I felt like that was today, I thought. So I'm, yeah, like today's like one of those like weeks where there's like nothing out. It's like crazy. It's like literally, hopefully next Tuesday is better. It's like one of those days where it's just like nothing at, at all today there are some cool stuff at the end though review wise like the child's play movies on 4k and stuff but it just sucks it's like nothing today to look at and it's like this is the first tuesday in a long long time where i literally saw not one single solid new thing on the shelf at all so anyway guys that was all for my brand new dvd blu-ray tuesday shopping video today and like i was saying sorry it's not like a very like exciting tuesday for a lot of new releases and stuff because today nothing but let me know though in the comments below like i said i was pretty sure that bruce willis one was today but maybe it was next tuesday i was mixing them up i i might have done that so it might have been a tuesday of nothing but i don't think i did but let me know though in the comments below though if you guys went out uh, to best buy if you saw anything new whatsoever on the shelves because like i said I, I i as far as i could tell there was nothing and i feel like if it was only like one title they're probably like oh well, i'm not worried about it you, you know what i mean like they probably didn't even worry put it about putting it out but but yeah, other than that, though, nothing else today. But let me know, though, in the comments below, though, anything new that you guys have watched on, you know, if you, anything new that you guys have seen, seen the theaters or anything new that you guys are watching on streaming or anything like that as well. Yeah, over there is like the highway and someone's like playing real loud music across the street over there. But thanks again for everything, guys. Also, like I was saying, thanks again for everyone who's been helping support uh, the film uh, Pay to Die. I really appreciate that so much. Me and Lauren Francesca's new upcoming horror comedy slasher film, uh, Pay to Die. So thanks again, guys, for all the continued support in the film. I'm so excited, to, you know, to start doing that film. 
uh, we're gonna start shooting at the end of September, like I was saying. But anyway, though, guys, thanks again for all the support, and now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first ones I got here are all from Scream Factory, from Shout Factory Scream Factory line. There's some really, really cool. These are ones I was so excited about, a uh, 4K releases. It's the first three Child's Play films all on, you know, 4K for the first time. Now, all these ones do include as well the 4K and then the Blu-ray copy of the movies as well. So I'm going to go through, though, what's on these ones. There's a lot of new features on these. Uh, the first one, you know, for Child's Play, that one has a brand new uh, 2022 4K scan from the original camera negative on here. It also has Adobe Almost track on here. And then it also has brand new interviews with Don Mancini on here, some production designers, um, some of the actors like Alex Venter and Chris Sarandon on here. Uh, and then it has like all the past features from the past releases on these ones. Uh, when it comes to these movies, though, I absolutely love these movies. Like Child's Play, the first one, if you guys don't know these films, it's, of course, it's about the the um, you know the good guy dolls, which have basically become this huge trend going on. And everybody wants to have a good guy doll, mainly Andy. The character of Andy wants a good guy doll. And, you know, his mom gets him the doll. And of course, in the very beginning of the movie, you see the serial killer Charles Lee Ray is dying. He's basically cornered by the cops in a toy store. And then and as he's dying, he ends up possessing the body of a you know one of the good guy dolls. And of course, that's the doll that she ends up getting. So it's basically, you know, if you, I, guess, I feel like everybody's probably seen these movies before. But if you haven't, they are absolutely must watches uh, for sure. But some of the features on here, like the classic ones on here, like classic commentaries on here. It had like um, TV spots, the making of Chucky, uh, vintage featurettes on here, uh, behind the scenes uh, special effects footage. So like I said, lots and lots of different stuff on here feature wise. Then the second one, um, which I always really liked because it had a, the scenes that were in the toy store. I always really liked, the, I mean, the toy factory, like that aspect of it, I really liked. And then I liked it too, because it kind of was more like focusing more, a little bit more on Andy, like going to school and having all these other kind of problems and like the classic scene in here too I always remember in the second one was with the teacher and you know in the closet and stuff like getting attacked by Chucky like that was one of like those classic scenes and like I feel like in all these movies histories now on this one this has a brand new 4k scan for the original camera negative on here it has on here uh, puppet master a brand new interview on, on here with the writer a brand new interview on here with uh, Alex, Alex Vincent you know of course who plays Andy a brand new interview on here with the producer uh, interview on here with uh, Christine El Kristen Ellis on for, you know who's the star of the film it has interview on here with the executive producer theatrical trailer so here's a look though inside here as well and this one does include the um like i said the 4k and then the blu-ray copy of the movie i'm glad that it actually includes both on here and then when it comes to the third movie and some people don't like the third movie i've always liked the third movie a lot this all takes place in a you know um Basically, the second one, though, like I said, it's the follow-up to the first one. I don't want to say too much of the story without, you know, ruining it if you haven't watched it. But basically, the third one, though, is Andy going to military academy. And basically, Chucky's found his way to the military school. And he's going and killing people at the military academy. I really like that one. For some reason, out of all of them, the, the third one, I've watched, like, the most. And I don't know why. I think it's because, as a kid, I always liked his friend in the movie. Like, his friend's character. So, like, I think I always was a fan of that of that particular character. So, as a kid, I, was, I, I watched this one very young. I think this is actually the first Child's Play I ever saw. And I'm pretty sure I, like, taped it off a of TV when I was, like... I used to do that all the time, so I probably saw it when I was, like, maybe seven or something. Like, an editor at eight or something like that. I watched stuff really, really young, and would, and I knew how to tape stuff as a kid. So on here, though, it has a brand new 4K scan on here. It has a commentary track on here with Jack Bender. It has an um, interview on here with Don Mancini. Uh, interview on here with some of the actors. Uh, brand new interview on here... Uh, so a lot of, with a makeup artist, uh, brand new interview on here with a production designer. So lots and lots of new features on this release here as well. So like I said, really cool releases here. All the movies look great here on 4K. But like I said, one of the guys know that these ones are all available uh, from Shout Factory. The next one here, this one is from uh, Lions Gate. It's a movie here called Mid Century. And this is one that has uh, Bruce Dern in it and Stephen Lang. And this is interesting. It's kind of like um, one of those movies. There's been a lot of these kind of films where it's like about renting like out Airbnbs and those kind of places where you go to like for like a weekend getaway to kind of like you, may, you only be maybe be going like an hour away from your house where you kind of want to get away. So those kind of things that people would rent. I've rented Airbnbs like not really to filming, but I've rent, I've I've done that kind of renting when you rent people's houses for filming specifically so it's kind of the same thing those people usually rent airbnbs as well so some of the locations i've actually filmed that have actually done airbnbs at the same time uh, they did that at the one woods location was that they had all these random people like in the woods and like cabins and stuff renting while we were filming there so i don't know i always think about the, i i like the idea of like because it is kind of scary about like renting things and going to these houses when you don't know and i always think too like could the camera could there be cameras in the place like you don't know you really you really don't know but basically though it's about a couple that ends up staying 
staying at this Airbnb and they kind of like uh, for our vacation and kind of discover very weird sort of things that are going on there and what had happened to the owners. It's a, it's a one of those very slow burn but slow build up movies. It's very creepy, just kind of all about going to you know an Airbnb when it's not good. <laughs> that's that's basically the concept for this one. The other one, and also too, you see in the beginning of the movie, like kind of that there's been like a history and this at this house. The next one here, this is from um, Paramount, and this is the um, uh, the new Sonic film, Sonic Two. And this one, I, I enjoy these Sonic movies. I saw the first one, you know, I, of course I didn't see it in theaters, but I saw it, I think on like video on demand or something like that for the first time. And then, but th this one too, I think has been on. Um, I think it's was it on Paramount Plus or on Epics? I think I actually that's how I first watched it was on Epics, like about like maybe a month ago for the first time. But basically, though, these are really fun movies. It's basically the character of Sonic. And I always like Sonic because to me, I think of that as like the first video game character that I ever played because I didn't play um, Super Mario Brothers first. The, the first system that I ever had as a kid, I think it was when I was in the first grade, I got uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the Hedgehog. That was like the first system, like first game I ever had for on Sega. So that was the first thing. So to me, when I think of like childhood and I think of video games or anything like that, I always think of Sonic because that was like the first thing for me. And more, more, way before uh, Mario Brothers. I, I loved the Mario Brothers movie. I, and I'm kind of weird. I like the Super Mario Brothers movie that I know people don't like. I like that more than the game in a, in a strange, weird way. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe tied a little bit with the Super Mario 64 one, though. I, I don't know. I, I love that Mario Brothers movie. I know people don't like it, or, or some people don't like it, but I obsess about that movie. I will not lie. I obsess about it. We're not talking about that now, though. We're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And this is basically, though, uh, Jim Carrey's character, and I think this is going to be his last movie for a while, he said. He's going to retire for a bit. I, I, I do think he'll come back again, because he did that before years back, but I'm, I'm hoping that he will come back again, and maybe he'll come back for Dumb and Dumber 3, because there was talk about, like, it's a joke that he would do it after all these years, and I'd, I'd watch that in a heartbeat. But basically, though, this is about the character of Dr. Robotnik, who in the first movie, he was, you know, you, you find out what happens to him, and now Dr. Robotnik is coming back. And he's basically teaming up with Knuckles, who is like Sonic's enemy, and it's basically about, you know, uh, try, they're trying to get something that Dr. Robotnik is trying to get to get all this power, and becomes a whole big thing. It's just a very, very fun movie. Uh, looks great here on 4K. It has on here, though, feature-wise, Robotnik Reimagined with Jim Carrey, uh, the power uh, the power for a puncher knuckle, uh, knuckle, uh, Knuckles, deleted scenes and bloopers on this one here uh, as well. And the next one I got here is from Paramount as well. And this is one that I was, when I saw this was going to be releasing on Paramount Presents, I was like really surprised because it was something I kind of never expected because it's a movie that I always loved as a little kid. It's one of like my earliest memories of movies is remembering this movie. And actually too, it's something that's always very special to me for, because of, as a kid, I used to have this clubhouse, like this like really little cl like clubhouse I used to go to as a little kid. I mean, I, it was probably torn down when I was maybe seven years old, if, and and I, in, in the clubhouse, there was a couple posters. One of them was for, um, I believe it was Big Top Pee Wee. The other one was this movie, and it was uh, Back to the Beach. It was not this image. This is the new image, but it was this poster. So it was so crazy for me to see this inside of here because I remember this so well. I don't think I have looked at this poster in like or seen this in person, like this actual image, in like over 20 plus years. So it was just so surreal to see it again. And I, like I said, as a kid, I there was something about this movie I like. I really obsessed with it because I was I, I thought it was like so cool the idea of seeing a movie where we had Pee Wee because these are these of course these are cameos but to see Pee Wee in there with Gilligan and the Skipper there's something like I just in the same movie it was just like surreal this is like the kind of peculiar thing that I like to do in my movies is like get people you do not expect in any sense and like have them do peculiar things I love that and this is one of those ones that did this I think this is one of the first movies too that I really discovered kind of like the cameo like move like the idea of like people are doing cameos in movies and i feel like this is one of the ones as a little kid i discovered but a great movie you guys have never watched this one absolutely a must watch it's like i said it's not no perfect or anything like that but it's a fun movie uh, and if you guys like those surf beach blanket kind of movies too this is kind of a parody in the sense of them too uh, here's an inside though too it does have a digital copy Here's a look, though, inside, you know, and there's, like, a quote, some stills from the movie, stuff like that. But really fun. I really, It's really cool, though, that Paramount's putting out, like, slightly lesser-known stuff, too, with the Paramount Presents line. I really like that. that they're still embracing, releasing stuff like that. So I think it's very, very cool. Now, the other one here, this is a movie that is so scary to me. And, and, and I don't know what it is about it. It just creeps me out so bad. And the, and the scene, especially in the tunnel, when he's, like, crawling through the thing, 
I, I don't know how to explain it. What the the, the feeling of like cr the dread that this, uh, that scene gives me. But this is a movie from Paramount as well, and this is Event Horizon. This is the brand new Steelbook edition here, the 4K edition Steelbook. It includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and a digital copy as well. But this is the 25th anniversary edition of the movie. But this is one of those movies all on this uh, alien uh, space of the on a spaceship when they're up there kind of investigating in the thing and then they start seeing these weird things and it's essentially like you know it's a horror film but done in space so it's kind of like plays out like a normal science fiction movie like kind of a sci-fi film but then turns into a whole horror film i like this movie i really like this movie i think this was you know um paul anderson's probably his best movie and, and it's one of those movies too i know there has been a lot of talk about the um you know um the, the and they do have on here the unseen event horizon the unfilmed uh, rescue scene but there is, though, you know, they, they haven't been able to do it, though. It's been a nightmare. They wanted to try and do, like, the director's cut of this movie, and, like, the footage, I think, has been lost, and they can't find it, but there's been a lot of talk about trying to restore the other cut of this movie. I've, at least, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm totally wrong for this one. I don't think it will ever happen. I think it's just too lost. It's just, if the print, if the, if the film isn't, doesn't exist anymore, they can't do anything. Here's a look, though, inside, but a very creepy movie. Sometimes I think people mix this movie up with a movie called Spear, which was, like, a, a PG-13 movie, uh, it was similar, and I don't know which one came first, but I feel like sometimes people th like mix the two up. To really, I don't know why, but they, I really think they do. Uh, the other one here uh, is from um, Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy. This one, late guys, this one is available. This is one, like I said, just one, late guys, this one is available. And this is a DC Universe movie, uh, Green Lantern, Beware My Power. This one has on here the uh, 4K HD edition, as well as a Blu-ray and a digital copy uh, of the movie. And on here, though, this has John Stewart, The Power uh, and Glory featurette as well as two bonus uh, cartoons on this one here as well and the next one i got here is from rlg entertainment it's a movie here called white elephant now i got a couple things i got to make sure to mention about this one uh but i will talk about the movie first basically though uh this one stars michael rooker uh, bruce willis john malkovich uh, i, I know, never, never know how to say her uh, last name olga she's been in lots of different movies uh but this is like i said this is a movie here called white elephant it's basically though about michael rooker's character who sent he's like sort of like a hitman who's sent to go after these bad guys that are gonna become Coming after Bruce Willis's character, uh, the thing is, like, movie-wise, I thought it was all really well done. But I will say, though, it was difficult for me to watch because I, I forget the term of what Bruce Willis's condition is when it comes to with his memory that he's going through. And I feel so bad because, to me, like the, the thought of I'm one of those kind of people that has a very, very good memory. Like, I have this weird thing where I can remember stuff when I was like three years old. I, I remember like literally the smallest little details. It's like a picture memory with things. And I don't know why I've been able to do that, but I've been very lucky and this the, the idea and the thought of your memory to lose that and lose the ability to remember things and all of it it's just i just feel so bad for bruce willis and and i i, I know that when he was retired when i heard he was retiring i was it was sad i i had some you know heard some whispers about that earlier though so i kind of knew that was going to happen but i didn't know the whole extent of everything and then just to see this particular movie was one of the first times where you could where they had a hard time covering up that he was going through what he's going through um it's a lot of ADR, a lot of cutting away from the star while he's delivering the dialogue because they probably couldn't figure out how to make it work. It's just, it was like, I don't know. It was, it, I, this might have been the one I read when I read the one interview with the, I don't know if this was the one, but I know there was one where they made the movie and then the director was like, we can't do it anymore. I, I don't know. But, you know, this is not nothing against the film or anything like that, but it was just, it was just sad because it was the first time I could tell that Bruce Willis, you know, what, what he was dealing with. And it was just very sad. And the next one's here. These are from um, a Screen Media. And this is a movie here where it stars Jamie King and Antonio Banderas called Code, Code, Name, Code Name Banshee. And this one is basically, though, about you know, Jimmy King's character and she's like sort of a, a government assassin and basically she worked and trained with Antonio Banderas' character and he kind of like went rogue and kind of went on his own and sort of doing his own thing but she kind of comes to find out that someone is going to be coming after him so basically she comes to you know to warn him even though they kind of had a falling out in the past and you know really weren't getting along anymore but she basically tells him and when she tells him she kind of has to forcibly help him to you know fight off these people from coming after him and stuff like that so it's basically they get kind of forced back together i thought this was a pretty good uh, action film like i said this one here is called cold name banshee the other one here this is from screen media as well this is one called Cor cordelia cordelia and uh, 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 yes i do know how to say, say that one word i don't remember who i ever heard called the name it was named cordelia i remember cordelia 
I think that might have been on um, Rugrats or something, but Cordelia. I don't know if I ever remember hearing anyone call that, name that. But basically, though, uh, I, like I said, I knew Cordelia. Basically, though, this is about, it's, it's kind of like this one of those weird movies about, like, um, her, ends up being like her neighbor that ends up moving in. She kind of like realizes that something's kind of strange about him. And she's one of those kind of people too, who's very neurotic and scared all the time and really doesn't leave her house a whole lot. And basically though, she kind of starts to think that there's something up with him. And it's kind of like, she starts to slowly realize what exactly is going on with this guy. And it's basically deals with a lot with paranoia and all that type of stuff. Now, this one has on here though, feature wise, the making of, um, you know, Cordelia, Cordelia <laughs> on this one. And the other one here, uh, this one is from, um, um, moviezing.com I'll have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price and it's also from High Octane Pictures this is one here called American Hunt and this is basically though kind of like that movie The Hunt Hunt a little bit it's like about people that were out in the woods like going on a trip uh, you know and basically they wake up and they find out that there's like these crazy people out there that like hunting people and they basically say oh well you know we are going to be hunting you and your goal is to survive and they're like what? what? so it's basically them having to try and survive out there and figure out how they're going to get away and get out of these woods uh, this one has on here feature wise um, a commentary track and a blooper reel on this one the next one here this is from second sight films this is a really really cool release here this is the um this is a real thick edition here in the 4k edition here of the film the witch which stars anna taylor joy i always really like this movie i think this was the first anna taylor joy movie i think i saw I, I feel like this was like maybe she was in other things before this but I, at least this is the first one that i remember seeing her in and she's done so many big things since this movie, too. I mean, this is, like, the thing that really launched her career. And it is a really creepy movie about, like, this family that is kind of perceived as witches. That live kind of like they're out, kind of made to leave from the uh, area that they're living and kind of have to live on their own out there. And they're kind of, like, not wanted whatsoever. And weird sort of things start to happen out there. It's dealing with, like, this goat. And it's it's very, very creepy movie. I'm going to show you guys, though, a look inside what's in here. It has a... Um, a big booklet which has some stuff about the the, the film, which has some stills, uh, stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff here. Let me try and see if I can show you through here. Let me, hopefully there's nothing bad we can't show anything i don't think so it'd be funny if i went like that has like the um you know the uh the wardrobe like the costumes and stuff like that so a very very cool book here's like some like i said some stills from the movie there's also uh you know lobby cards included as well uh for the movie so i'll show you guys this is like the original poster that you've seen this is like the rabbit they have the um that's black philip though the the main one but really, really cool uh, lobby cards in here for the movie. And then here is a look at the um, the Blu-ray and then the 4K, the film. Now on here, though, feature-wise, let me check that you guys know uh, what was on here and everything. So feature-wise on this one, it has the um, the 4K edition on here. And then it has the limited edition, includes the rigid slipcase, 155-page uh, uh, booklet. And then it has new commentary track on here with film writer and broadcaster Anna Bokaskaska. Um... Uh, a new interview on here with Robert Eggers, the director, a brand new interview with Anna Taylor Joy, uh, a brand new interview with Ralph Eisen, one of the actors in the film. So a lot, a lot, lots and lots of features on here, but a really great film if you guys have not seen it. The other one here I want to let you guys know was available. Uh, this one here is from uh, Unearthed Films. This is from their Unearthed Classics line. And this one I kind of covered right here just in case anyone says anything. And this is one movie here called uh, Dr. Lamb. Like I said, I want to let you guys know that this one was available. And this is from the um, the, cla the uh, Unearthed Classics line that they have. They, they have a couple of different things that they've been... They also just started doing uh, animation uh, on Earth. And on here, though, this has a commentary track on here uh, with Art Ellinger, as well as Bruce Hollenbeck. It has a uh, interview on here with some filmmaker, with the, with the filmmaker Gilbert Poe on here, a cut and run film academic. Uh, Sean Terry, a.k.a. The Silver Spoon, remembers Dr. Lamb. Atomic TV interview on here. Uh, trailers on here as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these uh, review videos, uh, you know, DVD Tuesday shopping videos, definitely give us a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.